there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. What is up ladies and gentlemen, Dallas Hawk right here and today we are back with more Bioshock 2. We are in Ryan Amusements. And as you can see... As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. So as I was saying, and uh, Sinclair pretty much uh, got to the point. Uh, we can't go any further until we melt that ice with Incinerate, which is a, the plasma we did get in Bioshock 1. So we're going to begin that again. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was... Minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. It's weird that Lamb is trying to, like, psychologically distance herself from Eleanor, but... It's obvious that she's still mentally somewhere deep inside her head and her heart. She is still showing pride in how much Eleanor is achieving in her academic marks, you know. So. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a oh. cathedral. Oh no, here another big himself. daddy. This isn't gonna be good. <gasps> Go golden ticket. Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I'm no, sir. whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Okay, so now we're on the road to the El Dorado Lounge. No fuck up this time. Give me a second. I, okay, here, here's a ticket. You know what? I am Andrew Ryan. Now we're gonna take care of these guys first before we progress, so they don't become a, a pain later. Alrighty then, no you witnesses. Okay. I am still kind of miffed that you can only carry five first aid kits with you and five Eve syringes. That is a very inconvenient. Oh, come on. I hack it, I get the blue line. Or bar, or whatever, and it gives me something I don't even need. Oh, hello. What is this? Okay, so that 
supposedly makes me walk faster. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really notice that much of a difference. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie, Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> the kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! margin in running the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. And I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop could whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there, in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Okay, so we're done with the gift shop, at least for now. Don't know if we're gonna have to come back, but I mean here we are, the El Dorado Lounge. The times may be unkind, but did you Hello? Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. We must account for <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mum says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog eat dog. I wanted to see these dog eaters. So I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters wear human skins. It makes them look just like us. Oh boy. So there's a little sister and a big daddy in here. Ah, now that big hi. daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to little sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Okay, let's Hopefully I found one this of those children at last. It's gonna be easy. Filthy dress all alone. I approached her, praying that wow. it was my little Isn't girl. just walking around all the trash? She was Gorging herself on Come on, explode. From a corpse. Come on, 4th of July or something. I stare, just, just oh, come me. on, really? The days don't trigger the trap? Freak took Cindy, jumped me, shrieking like an animal. All right, I escaped, time to collect my traps Cindy again. Have become one of those things. <laughs> I've got to find her now more than ever. Okay, let's start this fight off with this. What? That did nothing as well? So far so good. Not much of a problem. Oh, 
At least I feel like I'm better equipped to fight uh, this initial Big Daddy than I was um, the first one in Bioshock 1. Almost there. And down. Take a breath, son. You did it. Now, just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. Oh, so we adopt him now. Kind of like in the Proving Grounds. Okay, yes, now we're going to be doing the Proving we're Grounds. In business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture, and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. So, I guess with each little sister, we gotta go find two corpses to get some of the atom off of them. Sounds simple. But if it's anything like the Proving Grounds, we're going to get ambushed every time we are at one of the corpses. But probably only certain corpses? I wonder if there's like anything distinct about the corpses we're after. Okay, lead you to a glowing corpse. Okay, so, oh. She's got yeah. a juicy one. But when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be yeah, ready that. before you set her down on that body. Yeah, there's a lot of places I can get ambushed. Well, we could get ambushed. Oh, come on, I hit the ceiling. That's useless. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and set her down. That is a child of the family. Not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Oh, do you think I'm gonna fall? Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished, or they'll never give up the it's bad there's not any gun turrets or something around here. Because uh, those would be really helpful with these. Get off of her. Looks like they're trying to cut through the door. And success. This angel's all done now. See? He's nicer than other daddies. Now you know the stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, we can. Oh, I could have just waited. Ah, my luck. Journey to the surface. I wonder if uh, this 
the journey to the surface is kind of a way for um, Andrew Ryan and everyone to kind of manipulate uh, people, especially with kids, by making them fear what's on the surface, whether what they say is factual or not, but it could be. We'll see. I think all of the children have finally fallen asleep. And now that the park is all quiet, I can't sleep myself. I guess it's just you and me, Mr. Voice Recorder. You, me, and 1959. I wonder what the new year will... What? What was that? Something's happened. The lights are going out. Kids, stay in your sleeping bags. It's gonna be fine. Spoiler alert. It was not fine. Are you sure? I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I just get this bad feeling about Sinclair. Since it's simply because... Um, there's no your tape earlier saying that Sinclair knew some people at Popper's Drop, which wouldn't surprise me if that's an area that we're going to be going to and help the person at the gift shop find a way to start making more money off of, like, the merchandise that you're selling. But there's probably more to it. It's probably, like, a lesser quality. But the guy at the gift shop was probably just thinking, you know, it's just cheap. Like, it's cheaper being made, but it's probably cheaper stuff that it's made with. So, I wonder if Sinclair's like that. But... With that recent audio tape talking about how. All right, Chief, we've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. Anyway, with the. With the re recent audio tape talking about how Andrew Ryan sees Lamb as as a problem and Sinclair as a solution it kind of makes me wonder it, it kind of makes some sense that Sinclair has aligned herself with Tannenbaum since Tannenbaum came back to Rapture 
to save more little sisters and Lamb is behind the it. The scientist invests the power of his mind so Sinclair thought it would be in his best interest to align himself with Tenenbaum to take Glam down. Maybe. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. So yeah, he cares, doesn't care about the little sisters. All he cares about is getting the job done. <laughs> so I, I'm not really warmed up to the Sinclair guy. So we're going to do what we always do. And rescue them. Thank you. No problem. Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. Sleep on his back. Don't shake him hard. And we'll need her milk for a while. Rapture is a paradise of the ego, Eleanor. Under Ryan, the voices of an entire city sing the virtues of greed and pride. But truth, rather, is in the body. Already they grow weary of struggling against one another in fruitless competition. Observe the bent backs, the drawn faces. Ryan promised us more, they seem to say. In what shall we now believe? And Eleanor, it is our task to answer. Okay. So there probably isn't much left for us to do down here in this ride. Quote unquote ride. On the surface, your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasites said, No! A child. Two weeks at my last count. Two weeks since we were trapped in this rotten park. <sighs> I haven't been eating. Children need all the supplies we've got left. Need them more than I do. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I can feel myself getting weaker. The children have noticed the condition I'm in, of course. 
Mars. What will happen once I'm gone? I'll be... all alone. Something I should need. I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want it, but he has. And they can go away. I could fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? I ask what? And he flashes me. Thousand dollar Steinman teeth saying this job will quote change history. End quote. Okay, security camera. I want the I want the, the money. I'm just going to read this and Third see if I can today with this pick up. Third session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. She said that all Ryan's horse shit about always looking out for number one on. is Get turning us little guys against each other. And Come what on. we need is there unity, solidarity. Then huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today. I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Hmm. I know this facility is vital for the preservation of secrecy and rapture. But seeing myself transformed into that lurching, waxen nightmare, do children truly respond to this? Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned here. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. Ah, so I was right. This is pretty much to brainwash kids and make them fear the surface world. Hearts Club for good. This scheme works 100% of the time, guaranteed. First, find some Betty and take her to Ryan Amusements. Then, you'll go to the gift shop, buy her a teddy bear. This is key. I ain't kidding around. Then, you buy her a ticket on Journey to the Surface. As soon as you hit that first scare, bingo! Tunnel of love. Is it though? Good night to you. Because the opposite of love is fear, and all that seems to really do is have people fear the surface world. So, you may think it works 100% of the time, but it's not real love. The 
busted pile of Okay, so these seems like an open area, so there's probably something in here Everything. that I can hack. Shit. Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical fraud. Stay away from th things you don't know nothing about. Drop that at once. It's priceless. Ridiculous. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Light up enemies to a thousand degrees. Warning, fire spread. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fire? Oh, I'm sorry. But this party just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Oh, let's see what's in here. Is there anything special? Seems like pointless other than another gatherer's garden. Like that, so uh, someone getting ready to attack us. It sounded like. I th make sure it reminds you of the big sister sound. So I got a bad feeling this time. Yep, that is exactly what this is. Killed her with luggage. Nice. Holy Moses, son. Not even a big sister can keep you down. Well, come on back and melt the ice and we can say goodbye to this two-bit colony ride. All right. But there was some ice we saw right over here. He's gone. James was the only man I ever loved. And 
Now it's like he never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room. Came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. And now he's gone. And I'm here. Singing Rise, Rapture, Rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me. Outstanding, Sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. I like to look oh, a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid. We're going places. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel to force a mirror on a man with no face? Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. Ridiculous! Okay, that should be everybody. No one else is attacking, so I think we're in the clear. So Sinclair is in this room. market was some kind of holy spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow and i reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel so old andy went and became his own ghost and i whittled nickels till i made a mint well it looks like uh apparently we're done with this area um don't know where this is gonna take us but thank you for watching, subscribe to see more, hit that like button, comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.